So here's the transient modulator, or transmod as it's affectionately known. It's a really useful tool which can be used to harden or soften attacks and transients. It's got a lot of fine-tuned parameters, but can be very easily demonstrated just using this one slider here. So I've got an acoustic drum kit, and I just want to make it a little bit tougher, harden it up a little bit. So let's switch it in, and you'll notice the transients sounding a lot harder, punchier, as I increase the ratio. I'll switch it off so you can hear the effect. Back in. A lot harder, a lot tighter. Now if I move this slider in a negative direction, I can actually soften the transients, which is just rounding off the initial edge of the attack. Exaggerate, go all the way down. Which kind of almost has the effect of bringing up room ambience. You are taking the initial transient off, but you're leaving the rest untouched. It's very different to a compressor. It's not, uh, com it's not actually compressing the signal, it's leaving the, the body of the signal alone, but it's just affecting the initial transient. Now, it does have an overdrive control, which kind of adds harmonic related content. If you actually um, push it up to 100%, it will allow peaks of up to 6 dB above digital maximum without hard clipping, so I can really push this and there won't be any clipping. It's pretty intense. Okay, now let's check out Transmod on an electronic drum loop. Really punchy. I can use it creatively again, I can, I can bring it right down here. Maybe for example I just wanted to use this as a loop but I wanted to use a different kick drum. So here I'm kind of just shaving off the initial transient, leaving the hi-hats and the other stuff in there, but the uh, kick drum's a lot softer so I could replace it with a different hard turning kick drum. It's got a lot of good creative uses. Um, as well as drums, as its most obvious use, um, it can be used on things like guitars. And I've got an electric guitar here in a mix. Um, let's have a listen. I'll just solo it for a second. Just a small, funky, delicate electric guitar. It's kind of a little bit lost in the mix. Now, I don't necessarily just want to push the fader up and make the volume louder. I just want it to cut through the mix better. I mean, if I was to mix by... Uh, you know, comp everything competing for volume and pushing all the faders up, I'm going to lose headroom and, you know, the mix is going to be a shambles. So I'd rather use EQ creatively to make space for things and to, you know, give certain instruments a certain edge or soften them so they all sit in the mix nicely. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm not going to push the electric guitar up in the mix. I'm just going to increase its um, edginess, if you like. So let's use the transmod to do that. Solo it again. And without. And with. Really, really clicky. Switch it off. Really nice. Switch it off again. edge. I remember it's not louder, but it's just cutting through nicely. So very, very cool. It can be used on basses as well to give it some thump and pluck. Just to take you through some of the other parameters, threshold and dead band, they're used to control exactly which transients have processing applied to them. Overshoot dictates exactly how much of the initial leading edge of the waveform is affected. Um, greater values will affect more than just the initial transient, for example. Rise time is like uh, response time. Um, a shorter setting will cause all transients to be processed. Uh, a longer one will exclude some transients. Uh, recovery is similar to a, a release control. 
And Overdrive adds harmonic content. Uh, when set to 100, it will allow peaks of 6 dB above digital maximum without clipping. So that's the transient modulator, or transmod. So in summary, the Oxford transmod hardens or softens attacks and transients, brings instruments forwards or pushes them back in the mix, radically changes the dynamics of instruments, and can have the effect of increasing or decreasing room ambience. It also has variable harmonic enhancement for extra punch.